Hello and what is going on YouTube and welcome back for another FIFA 17 player review where we take an in-depth look at the 90 rated team of the tournament Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Now guys if you have been enjoying the reviews make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already. Also if there are any other players you'd like to see from this team of the tournament make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll make my way through them. But guys let's take a look at his overall record for me. Now I was able to pick this coin up last night for 547,000 coins on the Xbox. Aubameyang played five games for me scoring seven goals with zero assists now I applied the dead eye chem style to him to increase his shooting and passing but guys let's jump on into his in-game stats He's got 93 positioning, 94 finishing, 84 shot power, 90 volleys, 87 agility, 99 sprint speed, 88 dribbling with only 71 balance. He has the finesse shot, speed dribbler, and chip shot traits, as well as speedster, clinical finisher, and complete forward specialities. Those high low work rates, three star skills, and a four star weak foot. Now guys, the first pro we have for this Aubameyang card is going to be his pace, and to no surprise, he is probably one of the fastest cards in the game. The 99 sprint speed, the 87 agility, he's just one of those cards that if you are a pace abuser, he, he's just the guy to go to, there's no doubt about it. Though I did notice when you are dribbling with him, he does slow down quite a bit, so you need to flick that right stick forward just to knock the ball ahead, uh, so you're always running on onto the ball. Now guys, my second pro for Aubameyang is his shooting, and it may have just been an off night for me, but Aubameyang hit the post five times in five games, though I did score seven goals over those games. So this card is absolutely clinical in front of goal, guys. There is no doubt about it. He has that four-star weak foot, so you don't need to worry. He, he has the curve to hit the finesse shots. He has the power, and my god, the power this card has shooting in front of goal is sensational just bang it with a bombing and you're gonna be looking at the back of the net now guys my third pro for this team of the tournament of bombing is his physical he is very very strong guys and not easily bullied off the ball which is a very nice uh, attribute for one of those pace abuse players when you're playing those through balls with this card as you can shield most defenders off the ball and have a very very nice chance on goal the other is the ability to hold up the play and make the pass now Aubameyang didn't have any assists for me but his ability to play the give and go passes is what really allows him to get in behind defenses so easily now my last pro for Aubameyang guys is his ball control and he keeps the ball very very touch tight now for some reason he isn't as agile as you would see with his stats uh, dribbling wise he just felt a little bit clunky in tight spaces uh, he's not able to weave around defenders like you would imagine a Messi or Ronaldo uh, when you're dribbling so that's just one thing to consider guys now I had a lot of fun using a bombing but there are a couple of cons my first is gonna be the similarity to his 89 rated card and honestly guys I didn't feel a single difference between the between the two at all Besides, this one costs 50,000 coins more. Now, the second is going to be his lack of skills. He just feels a lot like a pace abuser and really nothing else, guys. I just feel like he got isolated too easily and without the skills, he struggles to bring the ball back into the game. Now, my last pro, guys, or con, is his balance. And simply, this guy goes to ground so damn easy, guys. It's maybe one of the most frustrating cards I have used in foot this year. He just goes to the ground. Now since this card costs around 550,000 coins on Xbox at this moment in time, do I think he's worth the coins? Honestly guys, I would just stick to his second inform card. If you are a big fan of Aubameyang, there was really no difference between the two for me and actually I think for the coins, just in general, there are better strikers in the game with similar pace and are more elusive of defenders and just add more to the gameplay but guys that's going to bring us to a close on our review of the 90 rated team of the tournament Aubameyang if you have any players you'd like to see from this team of the tournament make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll make my way through them and as always guys thanks for stopping by and if you haven't already make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because what else you're gonna do check you guys later